<laughs> hey, everybody. Carmen Susie, welcome. We're going to do the uh, Top Gypsy Queen Baseball 2019 five box uh, half case number uh, three right now, as it is the second. So, oh. Damn, man. Every time, like, a computer restart happens. I gotta fix this mess. That's what I wanted. I'm still gonna have to fix this. Good enough. Good enough for now. Oh, this is Gypsy Queen. It is Gypsy Queen. Yeah. Let's get five boxes out. Just be one of the few weird ones, one of the few weird tops products that like double seals. There's only a handful that do. Oddly enough, the Queen being one of them. Tuesdays are here are fun days, which is uh, always exciting. Uh, basically, we got Prism uh, Draft in the store right now, which is very exciting. I feel like we should get through a lot of that this evening. Um, also, uh, Core Kings comes out tomorrow. Mmm. Court King special little treat because they've, they've basically just taken their the traditional format and blown it completely up. Used to be one auto a box, not anymore. Now it's two. <clears throat> Used to be box hoppers. Now there's none, which for the most part I think people are more or less happy about. <clears throat> Also, they have added like a crazy short printedness for a whole bunch of it, which is uh, something that you, that you cannot be like too. I mean, you can't be mad at a short print. Pretty sure it's in the Constitution that you can't be mad at a short print. Jersey G man, no you can't. It's it's I mean again, I believe constitutionally illegal to be mad at a short print. I would have to check, I mean I had to check like the Supreme Court records and whatnot, but I'm pretty sure. How are you doing this evening? Or 
I guess I mean I don't even know. Is it silly? Is it afternoon? What what time does it, what time does evening officially start? I kind of think it's like six. So I would still say like late afternoon. Uh doing all right. A little weird being here on a Tuesday, but you know. Jesse had many amazing things that he wanted to do. Uh, most of the most of them involved me not working on uh, Friday or Saturday. <clears throat> oh, is age a determination in that? Well, okay. Is it physical age or mental age? Because I, I work on two very different scales. Physically, I'm about 67 years old. Mentally floating somewhere around the uh, 20, uh, 26, 26 ish area. Oh, for the evening. Oh, no, well, no. I mean, that's a standard. That's standard. I mean, where, you, when, when, and how long you party, you know, just doesn't. Uh, you know, it's part of this part of the standard deal. I don't know. How excited are you for uh, the Court Kings tomorrow, Jersey G-Man? I imagine, like, probably already wearing diapers or have already purchased diapers to be wearing uh, because you're going to crap your pants once you see how amazing it is. I know that I've already got uh, my diapers on right now, in and just in case something goes something goes crazy. Yeah, <clears throat> let's see what what year did I really stop the party? Man, I see. I don't think I, I don't think I stopped to like twenty fourteen, maybe fourteen. Ugh. Glad I did. <clears throat> Very glad that I did. See, I like, I love the look of Court Kings, but I know that it sells for just absolute trash. <clears throat> Nobody else likes it. They keep making it. There's only a, a small, small handful of fans, but uh, I, I, do, I, honest to God, like how it looks. I mean, they've even like gone like some Andy Warhol style uh, stuff in uh, in this one, which is nice. Well, they've doubled up on autographs this year, so now a uh, eighteen box full case is uh, or sixteen box full case is going to get you thirty two autographs out of that bad boy. No more uh, no more one auto uh, auto deals in uh, in the CK this year. And, as far as I know, no more box toppers. <clears throat> Which, well, I didn't hate the box toppers. Uh, packing uh, and sorting definitely did. Josh, what is ye question? If I bought into more products, I would probably hate a lot more than I do. Like now, I can just kind of strictly look at, you know, look at it, enjoy the aesthetics, and not uh, not hate them, and just wait for uh, wait for fancy things. Oh, Bowman! So excited for Bowman! As I, as I always am. Score football. Not a huge fan. I'm beginning to get to not be a fan of these uh, hyper long breaks.
I'm thinking that uh, there might seriously be a time that uh, they get like they, 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 I get them limited. Manziel is in, is in what new football league? Is Manziel in the AAFL or A A A A F or A F F American? Whichever one it is, the, <clears throat> what is it? Is is it the A F? Tops has the, has the uh, has the uh, uh, license on that. You can get Tops football cards again. They're just not NFL. They're that. Uh, whatever the new one is, that's not the uh, XFL. I didn't know Manziel was in that though. Like, I mean, I, I thought Manziel had money to not have to pretend to play football for like eighty thousand dollars a year. AAF. Tops has an AAF license. You can get a Tops AAF box, like hobby box, three autographs. I believe the retail runs about sixty bucks on it, and I think a fair bit of it, if not all of it, is. Uh, is uh, on card autos for some of you know for some of the uh, NFL wash washouts such as Trent Richardson and uh, Christian Hackenberg. Looking at the checklist was kind of interesting to me because I was like, oh, I remember that guy, I remember that guy, I remember that guy, I remember that guy, and no longer in the NFL. But Manziel was in the AAF? And Josh, I still want to know what your question is. Wait, they just shut it down? Seriously? I heard there was questions. Dude, I, I mean, I only watched like a couple of games, but I did not hate it. And it's done. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? That is unfortunate. I mean, listen, I mean, I really don't think there is any league that will ever compete with the NFL, like, as far as football goes. I don't think it, I just don't think it's something that will ever exist. Like, there's no way to make it profitable. There's just not. Again, I did not, di I did not dislike it, but it's not NFL. I don't care. You know, it's like, if, it, you know, if I'm hung over on, on a Saturday morning and I got nothing else to do and I just want to take a nap. Like and it's on and I and I and I happen to catch it on TV. Yeah, I throw it on, leave it on, whatever. I'm not making time on a on a Saturday night at eight o'clock to to watch that. Well, it's just talent. At the same time, Jersey G man. I mean, you know, there's only so much talent to go around. J. Mass, congratulations on that. Yeah, but Josh, I mean, there's the the problem with that is like, you know, there's durability in baseball. There's no durability in football. Like, if you're playing in the AAF, if you're playing in a you know, in in like some hometown uh, church league, you're still getting the same, you know, this 
getting banged up in the same way that just makes you less usable to end up going to the big show. All right, our Chrome stuff is uh, Segura, a DeGrom, a Schwarber, a O'Hearn, a Goldschmidt, a Brian Anderson, and blue to 150. Upton, a Trey Turner, a Kenley Jansen to uh, 50. Charlie Blackman, a Jake Bowers, a Justin Upton to 150, a Brandon Nemo, a Chris Archer, and another Nemo to 150. You know, Arena was not bad. Arena was not bad. To me, at least, Arena wasn't, like, trying to be, like, a straight ripoff. You know, you had, like, you know, like, your forward movements, your, you know, your walls and stuff, like... I mean, it's again. It's never gonna. It's never gonna directly compete. Yeah, I used to enjoy watching, like watching arena games. I don't know. I just, I mean, listen. The XFL is gonna is gonna take is gonna take a, a straight turd when you know one, you know once they start to the XFL may have a little bit more money to make things move, but it's still gonna be it's still gonna be a mess. All right, let's see if I can get the front facing variations out of this without whole lot of trouble before our boys go and uh, get the rest of it out. Here's a no name. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I mean, that's what I liked about Arena. I mean, it was fast, you know, short field, a lot of scoring, and, a, and, a, and a, I mean, a fair bit of like big hits in it, too. You know, I didn't feel like the defense was as, you know, I'll say hampered. But then, you know, then, and then at the same time, like, you you know, you're, you you got to worry about, like, durability of, uh, of players, too. I mean, I, I don't think there is, I don't think there will ever be, like, a triple A of the NFL. You're either good enough to play in the NFL or you're not. And anybody that's not will end up in like some secondary league. Not that a secondary league can't, you know, can't do well if, if if they get you know if they get it right. But it's just hard to do. It's so so hard to do. <laughs> you know, I don't know that I've seen this one, but I am all of a sudden in love with this Don Magley card. I mean that. This is how I like how I sit on my couch mo most days. You know, Jersey G man. I'll be honest. I would not. I would watch a flag football league, like seven on seven kind of thing, if it was like quality athletes, at least a little bit, a little bit. Eh, Josh, that's fair. That's fair. And listen, I'll go. <clears throat> I'll be clear about this now. Like there, I mean, there are. I know, like uh, Jackie Robinson Day variations. Another Fourth of July variations. The only thing I'm trying to get out right now are the rookies and like the no names and the Gypsy Queen uh, logo variants of these. 
<clears throat> the Mattingly is, in fact, a short print. I, I mean, I guess I should have known that it would be. Since there, since there really shouldn't be any... Is it just a high number? Yeah, I mean, it's just it's just a high number. It's not. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna get all all of that stuff out of it. We're gonna get all that stuff out of it. Uh, oxygen. I mean, I did that on purpose. I did that on purpose. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, okay, well, that's... Okay, well, that's what I... that I mean, I knew that was going to happen. So that's that's why that happened. Sorry, Oxygen. I mean, you know... It, I'm going to screw somebody, and it is traditionally the uh, people that I like. In this stuff, I mean that. I mean that's why Jersey G Man has not uh, hit a card with me in uh, going on what about twenty six years. I just like him too much to uh, produce something nice for him. Just like him too much. Got the uh, Bryce Wilson autograph for the uh, Atlanta Bravos baseball organization. Oh, Aussie Jim, and I, I like taking it, but uh, I mean, let me listen. You got the John Trey Hopkins five out of gal. It's not bad, not a bad card at all. Uh, Jose Abreu to two fifty. Oh, is this a fancy autograph? It is Christian Stewart. Detroit Tigers. Yeah, I saw the uh, 97 Bowman. I mean, that was I mean, that was a couple of years ago. 250, a Christian Stewart. I don't know. I ordered a bunch of stuff today for uh, life after uh, Court Kings. But at this very second, I couldn't even tell you what it was. Because I sent the guy, like I looked at what the guy had. And I was like, tell me what you got, like inventory with this. And he was like, listen, this is what I got. It's going fast. You know, tell me what you want. And a whole bunch of it was just you know a mess not good not good so i'll check the list tomorrow supposedly it already sh supposedly it shipped today and i'll start getting some uh, new stuff in the fort i mean it's, it's mostly uh baseball and uh football i didn't really bother to do anything with uh with with uh basketball yeah court kings is tomorrow got a cory dickerson to uh fitting I like it, <clears throat> and I'm going to make you guys like it, too, because I, I will be here for that, too. Jesse, I believe, has uh, what he told me was a hot date uh, going to the uh, like the Miami Fair. It's like a, I mean, is you know, like a state fair, except in Miami with more like hepatitis and, uh, and uh, botulism in it. He didn't tell me the guy's name that he was going with, but he just said that he had like a hot date for it. So I was like, I got y'all. You know, I can do that for you.
Well, yeah, I'm listen. I knew that he was doing nothing. I knew that he was doing nothing. I mean, really, the only reason I am working today is because he was up front about it. He was just like, listen. He's like, would you trade me, like, Tuesday, Wednesday for, uh, you know, Friday or Saturday? And I was like, to me, that, like, immediately sounded weird. And I was like, I was like, yeah, but, like, is everything okay? Like, you know, I mean, you know, you know a, a little bit worried or whatever. And he was just like, no, uh, you know, Tuesday's uh, normally uh, slow. And uh, Wednesday, uh, I got a date uh, at the fair. So I was like, yeah, man. I got you. Then, you know, like, oddly enough, the wife was like immediately, like, had been complaining like the day before. Like, you don't, you know, you don't ever have like a weekend off. Like that, you know, you, you got to get like weekends off. Not, not that we ever do anything or would do anything. But she's just like, you got to have weekends off. Then, like, so I tell her, like, oh, you know, Jesse's got, you know, I'm trading out with him these days, so I'm going to have the weekend off. He's like, oh, well, I have plans on Friday. So, <laughs> you know, we were going to have a uh, weekend time, but no, she's going to uh, some, like, book signing or book reading or something. Like, there's this uh, bookstore down here that uh, has people come in, like, you basically either buy the book or buy a ticket and they give you the book and like they you know the people that wrote the book talk and so I was like all right Travis Shaw to want to 250 and I guess that means uh, I will get to my little daughter uh, for the day which I like I basically never do and I'll just I'll just haul her ass around to wherever I want to go Hey, uh, Luis Urias. Rookie autograph for the uh, Padres. I still haven't. The, uh, the wife bought a new car like two weeks ago. And I have still not, uh, still not even driven it. But if I'm going to, if I'm going to haul this, haul the child, then I will, then I'm going to have to. It's just how it works out, and uh, yeah, it's just how it's just how it works out. Whatevs, I don't care. I will go find her something fun to do. I don't know what exactly just yet, but I'm gonna find her something fun to do. If her grandpa will even trust me enough to uh, take care of her on my own, we'll have to, we'll have to see about that. Hey, Rossiel Iglesias. The Reds autograph. Because Grandpa takes her, like, everywhere. Grandpa builds, like, houses for people. Like, he's, like, basically just, like, a GC. Like, you know, general contractor on stuff. So, like, while he doesn't ever, like, have to do, like, anything with it, he constantly has to be going to, like, make sure that, like, the plumbers got there, or the structural guys were there, or go to like the building department to make sure they, you know, like something's been approved or whatever. So apparently, most of uh, South Miami's uh, building community knows uh, knows my daughter because he likes to uh, haul her around, and when he shows up without her, they have to ask. Where you know where's Penelope? Where you know where is she? What you know? Why 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 don't you bring her around? Deaver's no name. And I'm famously, I'm not a hundred percent sure that he even trusts me to take care of her.
do. More people know her in South Florida right now, even though that she's like eight, 13 months old, than uh, than uh, than know me. Greg, how you doing? He's going back to uh, to Iran, I think, next month. And I, I, there is no doubt in my mind right now that if like that if Jenny said to him like, "Oh, do you want like you know do you want to take her with you?" He he would just like he would just pick her up and walk out the door. All he wants to do is show her off. Because she is literally the cutest thing that has ever existed on this earth. So I, I feel his pain with it. What's that tell you? Eric Gordon? Yeah, Alex Gordon. No name variant. So, for those of you that have been actually watching baseball this season, TCU Frogger, all of the short prints are going to be gone through by sorting, packing, and shipping. I mean, I'm I'm grabbing what I can and what I what I recognize, but it will all be checked by serial number. at the end of the day. Before anything gets shipped, they will all be sleeved, all be top loaded. Corbin Burns. Autograph type card. There are too many pictures for me to remember. And or just randomly think that like maybe that's a short print and put it put it in a pile that then turns out not to be and so and all the high numbers, all the Fourth uh, of Julys, all of the uh, bazooka backs, all of the uh, Jackie Robinsons will be uh, will be taken care of. I can promise that. And I know that I can because uh, when I come into the office uh, in the mornings, uh, you know, these days, I don't get like a, hey, Jason, how you doing? How's it going? I mean, what's up? You know, I get I get an angry look of somebody that's been going through... Uh, Gypsy Queen uh, cards for variations. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Or no namery. And Austin Meadows for the Rays to uh, one fifty. I am in the market for a new uh, a new propane grill. If anybody has one that uh, that they use, like a brand or something, I'm not looking to, to drop like crazy dollars on it. But I am in I am in need of a new grill. 
a Carlos Santana to uh, 50. A Josh Hader to uh, 250. Also, Jim, why would you not be? Why not? Why would you not want to be out on the water? I mean, aren't aren't you interested in having a shark bite you in the leg so that you can be on the news and then tell people that yeah, I'm not, you know, I'm still not scared of sharks. I'll go, I'll go back out into the ocean. Trevor Story for the Rockies autograph. Because that is what every Australian uh, water shark story is. You know, you get bit. They show, you know, show the picture of some, uh, you know, sixty-five foot long, uh, you know, shark, you know, biting your biting your leg. Then you're just like, uh, oh, well, you know, it's all right. I'll get back out there. I'll surf again. A uh, Archie Bradley to uh, 250. Since it is on top. Greg, I'm not really sure if I had to, if I had to pick one, which one I'd go with. They both sound terrible. I mean, and and Greg, I mean, is this because somebody did something stupid that you then have to go back through and review the policies and procedures, or is this just like something that just happens, like you know, just kind of happens regularly? Or does somebody do something like absolutely ridiculous? You're like, okay, uh, Greg, I'm going to need you to go ahead and uh, fix up procedures to make sure that uh, people know that they're not supposed to, uh, you know, stick their finger in the uh, sausage machine again. You know, just so that we have it, uh, ha have, it on, have it on file. Andahar, 50. I'm gonna have to find the link to this uh, this video and send it to basically everyone that I know. There's like this show that we watch, that the wife and I watch called the uh, Check Please South Florida. I think a whole lot of like areas have them. It's like a, I mean, at least in the United States because it's a public broadcasting thing. But they'll get like three people. They'll all pick a restaurant, like their their like favorite restaurant. Then the other two people will go to their restaurant. And then all three of them will come and do like a thirty minute little thirty minute show, uh, to uh, you know talk about it. I am not Aussie Jim. I have never had the desire to. Uh, Have uh, old people from high school know what I'm up to. So that's a hard negative. I mean, I have an account I think that like works like through the through the uh, you know Rip City one or something. I had to have one to be an administrator or some kind of garbage, but I mean, frankly, I just don't you know. 
I don't talk to people. So. And, like, I, I see, like, the, you know, the oftentimes, like, blacked out look on my wife's face. You know, when she's, like, looking through it and, you know, ha having to tell me that, you know, such and such, you know, did this or that. And I'm like, I, you know, like, I'm like, I don't care. If I had cared about that dude that I was in, uh, you know, algebra with in, uh, in, in 12th grade, I would have, uh, you know, asked for his phone number or something. Hey, Brad Keller. Yeah, I mean, I've got... I. I do Reddit. Reddit is my mind number. And it has nothing to do with people that I know. So if I just want to black out on stupid stuff and not get, like, jealous or mad at, you know, somebody doing something stupid, I, uh, I pick through Reddit. But I'm definitely not... Definitely don't care about any, anybody enough. For the face page. There was a there was a, a little bit like very very early on in Facebook that like my friend and I both had one, but we were like basically the only account holders on each other's. So like he would write stuff about me and mine, I write stuff about him and his, and then that got old about forty five minutes after. Uh, after we started it. I just, I don't know. I just don't care. Luis, I'm thinking about just putting them in as like a random divisions or something. You know, like something along those lines. I mean, if you like, if you like straight up wanted a box, it'd be like one fifty. But I'm, uh, but I'm, I'm kind of like just leaning towards just doing. Uh, just doing uh, like just like some random divisions or something with it. Chris Fitz, how you doing? Do you have some other preferred way, Louise? Joe, how are you tonight? A little Joe Panic. No name action. I mean, if you have, like, you know, some other way that you, like, you would be more interested in seeing it, I'm not, you know, I'm not tied to it. I just, you know, I got busy today not doing that. Alright, so like 600 spots. 25 cents a spot. And uh, some, 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 somebody out of that is going to get, uh, you know, get it. Matt, how you doing? Yeah, the Razzes we just do not, we've not ever done. We've been very, very much against them from the, from the beginning. And I actually think, like, Rip City's, like, five-year anniversary is coming up here, uh, coming up here very shortly. I mean, I'm sure there's, like, somebody planning a party that uh, I'm just not aware of, but, uh, you know. In case you wanted to contact that, that somebody that was planning on having the party that I didn't know about, you know, then you would probably want to check into that like sooner than later. 6,000 card or 6,000 spot card random base inclusion. Yeah. Why not? It'd be, it, it would, you know, I will sell it at uh, one Bitcoin a spot. Do it that way. Uh, 
Uh, the random divisions, Luis. If you wanted it, uh, I would. I'd put it in now. I mean, well, after I finish this, I'm not gonna stop this and do it. But I mean, if you're interested in it, as soon as I finish this, I'll put it in the store. The uh, Bregman logo swap. Or, you know, whatever, whatever those uh, coins are. I don't know. I will do it for one gold piece. One doubloon. That's what we'll do. 6,000 cards, 6,000 spot card random for the, uh, for the prime cuts. One doubloon will be the, uh, entry fee on it. Your responsibility for finding the doubloon. Not up to me. That's up to you. Now, once everybody mails me their doubloons, and I get all the doubloons collected, then I'll do the break. Seems seems like a winning uh, winning thing. I would even take like various like pirate booties. I'm thinking about just doing like the, all three boxes. I mean. I mean, it's like $75. $75 a spot if I did all three. Because there's not that many cards in it. Like, I mean, you know, I would I would hate to do... Yeah. yeah it, it, I would need to do it at the 75, at the, at the three at 75. Because if I go any lower, I'm going to really, I'm really going to have to charge more just to cover like the shipping and fees and stuff. Twenty piece nuggets. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I mean, okay. Here's the thing. Are you sending them via like one of those uh, those services that will go and pick up food and bring it directly to me, or are you buying those nuggets? Then putting them in a box, then taking them to the post office, then the post office sending them to me. Because that's going to affect it. If you're doing it, then I'm going to want at least 40 nuggets. If you're having them sent, you know, Grubhub or whatever, you're going to, you know, then, may, then maybe 20, 25 nuggets just, just to cover fees and stuff, perhaps. We'll have to look into it. Uh, yes, six divisions in uh, in baseball, Luis. I would I would do it would do it straight six. Wouldn't wouldn't go uh, wouldn't go weird on it. Like I normally do. It upsets me a little bit. They Brandon Nemo that you even have to ask because it makes me feel like I'm doing too many things in like weird ways. So, so I'm gonna, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut that down. Uh, no, three boxes. I would, would be like seventy five dollars a division. I mean, I mean, listen. Let me be honest. Technically, it should be more. But for what I'm, for, I mean, for what I'm doing, I would, I, for to have something to do and to not worry about it that much. It'd be like seventy five a division, three boxes. Of 2016 Prime Cuts Baseball. Again, let me just get that. We're almost done with this. Let me get finished. One box, I mean, if it's one box, I'm, I'm going to have to do like 30 bucks a division. Simply because of the shipping and fees situation. If I do all three boxes, a Kepler to 250, then I can justify enough not to charge more even though I should <sighs> but I'll let it go but if I'm if I'm doing three one boxers then that's just then I uh, then I I got to charge more to cover all the, all the shite 
I mean, listen. I mean, you know, this uh, this guy Michael, this you know, sort of shiver packer. I mean, you know, he went to uh, went to Lake Tahoe for a week. You know, that's not free. Sending him to Lake Tahoe. All right, autograph wise, we have got a Brandon Nemo for the Mets, a Hanniger for the Mariners, a Brad Keller for the Royals, a Trevor Story for the Rockies, a Meadows for the Rays to uh, one hundred and fifty. Corbin Burns of the Brewers, an Iglesias of the Reds, a Urias of the Padres, a Christian Stewart to uh, black and white for the Tigers to uh, 50. And a Bryce Wilson of the Bravos. Thank you, everybody.